seems all like right. it is the ideal time for hot chocolate. It right? does. Snow's it does. coming. Yes, I we understand. All need to warm up. Well, Snowmageddon on Thursday, huh? <laughs> Snowmageddon, <laughs> and Dave Eckert's going to teach us how to spike our cocoa. Exactly. <laughs> so Boy, I love we it. need it after the Chiefs game yesterday, and we're going to need it with this snow and cold I coming know. in, aren't we? So you're just the guy to teach us how to do this. I am. So last hour I did kind of classic hot mm -hmm. chocolates. This hour I'm going to add a little booze to okay. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of Monday, people. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Dog got it. So, so who are we starting all with? Right, let's here? start with the Lula Southern Cookhouse. Uh, Brett Pittner, the bar manager there, made this up. This is a holy moly, and holy moly, is it good? Ancho spiced bourbon, hot whole milk, package of Mexican style hot chocolate topped with Ooh. ancho vanilla whipped cream. How about that? That sounds amazing. Yeah, yum, bo. In the middle here from. Sean Brady of uh -huh. the soon to be open Brady and Fox okay. Irish American restaurant. They're going into the Brookside poultry space okay. in Brookside. Brand new restaurant going to open at the end of the month. This is a good start on a cold night, and that's apropos, isn't it? <laughs> Milk, Cadbury chocolate, Milky Way bars that he actually Ooh. melts in there, and then Five Farms Irish cream. And a, a little Irish whiskey to the mixture as wow. well. Wow. Ooh, that sounds... Yeah, it's a good start to a cold night. Tasty as well. It okay, and then over here. All right, this is from my good friend Cheryl Bisbee at Boozy Botanical Simple Syrups. Okay. So this is something you could do at home. Rosemary Mint Mocha. So you use the Rosemary Yum. Mint Boozy Botanical Simple Syrup. Okay. And then you use a little hot chocolate, the mocha. And you can add Ooh. either vodka. Oh, let me turn that down. Yes, exactly. There we go. Sorry. I clean up anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could add vodka or tequila to that, or just have it uh, as is as well. That and I love that the rosemary everything because I'm like, oh, it's this sounds really difficult. No, 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 no. But that makes it super simple. So easy, so easy, and that's the whole idea of Boozy Botanicals is to do restaurant bar quality cocktails at home. All right. All right. Finally, Laura Comer from the Kaufman Center. Mm -hmm. Classic hot chocolate and a classic chef driven recipe because it has a lot of ingredients. Okay. But she said, pour the first batch in, get it nice and hot, and then you add all of this stuff. So we've got, it looks like dark chocolate and dark milk chocolate. Dark chocolate and milk chocolate. What's that, vanilla? Okay. Let me read here. Okay. Okay. Milk, cream, sugar. Bittersweet espresso powder, vanilla, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, mm. uh, topped with marshmallows, whipped cream, chocolate shavings, and crushed peppermint, and a dash of cinnamon. If so you like. So we just need to go to the Kaufman Center. Exactly. Is what you're saying. The, I'm, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying, I don't have enough ink in my printer <laughs> to print that recipe out. And by the magic of television, this there is how it she looks. Is. There she is. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. So. We've and this got, one's not spiked, that's right? That's not spiked. Okay, so All I right. can legally drink this on the. Absolutely. Air. But I'm gonna and get she, a. I'm gonna wait because I'm gonna get a. You can you can have, have this mustache. one too. This is gonna be fresh. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. perfect. Where can people find you? You can always find me at Kansas City Homes and Style Magazine. You could look up my hot chocolate article that okay. I did a couple months ago, and then please follow me on Eats and Drinks with Dave Eats on Inst with Dave. Instagram. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank